This is going to be a video covering my post-shave routine. So after you've finished shaving, you're going to have shaving cream all over your face. You just need to get cleaned up. So first thing I do is I wash my face with hot water just to get all the shaving cream and extra hairs that are still on your face. Just get them cleaned off. So you need to do this here in your sink. I prefer to do it over in my shower. I've got a shower with one of these wand things and it makes it a lot easier. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do it here in my sink. So I'm just going to rinse off with hot water. Nice. So after I've rinsed off with hot water, I then do a rinse with cold water. So what cold water does, it helps close down your pores and helps decrease inflammation. Your skin on some level has just gone through a lot of trauma. You've drug a razor blade across it. You may have a bleeder, which happens to me now and again. But uh, So what you do is with the cold water, it helps just, just take out some of that heat, inflammation, and it'll close down any bleeders that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and, and rinse off. I just turn it to as cold as I can and rinse with that. There. So that was my cold water rinse. Then the next thing I do is I have very sensitive skin so I like to apply an astringent. So an astringent just is a skin cleaner and helps get rid of any bacteria or anything that's left behind that can cause irritation. And this is af often what an aftershave is used for. So there's a couple different types of, uh, of aftershaves or astringents to use. You can use an alcohol based one like this. Alcohol is often burning often gives you like a burning sensation and can be very drying and so I don't prefer an alcohol based one just because I don't want to dry out my skin. So I'll sometimes use witch hazel or like an aftershave that has witch hazel in it and witch hazel also cleans off your skin but I feel like it's less drying than the alcohol so I use that sometimes. I don't really use the alcohol ones much. Witch hazel I use sometimes but my most common one that I use every day is alum. So this is the razor rock alum block so I take this, and it's just like a mineral salt. It doesn't have any smell or anything to it. I just wet it, and I rub it over my face. So what that does is it's cleaning out any pore or area of your face that you've irritated. It's just getting out the bacteria and things in there that can cause like an infected pore and ingrown hair, anything like that. And I've noticed using this, it decreases my razor burn and everything. Also, you're getting feedback when you're using an alum block. You can tell like areas that you didn't do a good job shaving because it'll burn when you go over there. So, I actually had a pretty good shave. I'm not getting I had a little bit of burn right over here in a sensitive area for me, but other than that, it's fine. So then I let that sit on my skin um, for like a little while, maybe a couple minutes, but if I'm in a hurry, then I just rinse it off immediately. I keep it on my neck because there it helps reduce razor burn but on my the top of my face if I'm not getting any burning from it I know I did a good job shaving I don't need it on the top of my face so I'm just gonna rinse off the top of my face there then I do a nice job drying my face and at this point I need to add in back moisture to my face summertime or with like certain shaving soaps and creams it's not really that big of a deal but in the winter time you can just feel I don't know how it is for you guys but my skin is just dry at this point so what I use is this Nivea Men sensitive post shave balm I really like this stuff I've been using this since the beginning and I use that and the skin my skin just takes it and it just absorbs immediately it's got a really nice scent to it I like that a lot so then, I usually just stop there. That's usually my post-shave routine. This gives me really good results. But sometimes in the winter, if it's really dry out, really cold, I'll add a face lotion on top of that. So I use this one, just, I don't know, Earth Science Lightly Scented Almond Aloe Face Moisturizer. So I just put a little bit of this on top because this post-shave balm is really great. It helps add in the hydration back to your skin. But I don't feel like it's like really, really protecting. And if I'm going to be walking outside a lot, like we've had wind chills at zero, below zero a lot here recently. So I just add in, so I just put on some face lotion on top. Gives me plenty of protection and I haven't been getting any dry skin this winter. So that's my post-shave routine. I've had really good results with it. It definitely decreases. I used to get a ton of razor burn when I'd use a cartridge razor. This definitely helps decrease razor burn for me, helps keep my skin happy, hydrated, and basically 
and growing hair free. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this has been helpful.